I'm super excited. I got some amazing language arts curriculum and materials. I love these flashcards. I love them. Even the new one even has a hook. You can take it off, I believe, or at least spin it a lot easier than you can this hook. These are the pre-primer ones and these are the primer. And oh my gosh, they work so good. I get it. I'm still teaching my kid to spell stuff out too, but it just teaches them a lot of words with the pictures. And then after you're done, you know, so eight and then behind it, eight. Okay, so some words that can't be sounded out and you go and some words that can be. So I teach them both. And then the following this is the Fry word list, the Fry site word list um, that they have flashcards for too. And I think it's awesome. These are by Frazzles. Okay, next product of the day is it's GRE exam vocabulary, which I get the GRE is something you write when you're going into a master's program, but this is the vocab. And I honestly think you could start it when, you know, whenever you think your kid is fit, just doing like one word a day. So words you didn't think of, like Catholic. And then on the back, it says the definition is universal, broad, or comprehensive. And then it gives you hot tea with honey is a Catholic remedy for a sore throat and synonyms are extensive in general. So I just think when they get to be high school aged or whenever, that is something cool you can do, pull out one a day and just go through that way, just to increase your vocabulary, even if you're obviously not writing the GRE in high school or maybe you are, I don't know. This book probably would have helped me when I was a kid. This book is amazing. It's got, so it's super duper safety school. It has safety rules for kids regarding strangers, regarding if you get lost. Like for example, on the page where you get lost, it talks about how to look for a mom with kids if you're lost or the cashier because she's got a microphone. It says your mom will never leave the store without you or leave the area without you. So don't ever go to the car or into the parking lot. Just wait there or yell. Or, or freeze and yell. So it's, I'm t this teaches you about tricky people. It teaches you how um, adults will never ask a kid for help. They will ask another, strange adults will never ask a kid for help. They will ask another adult for help. Only your mom and dad and people they approve can ask you for help and how not to keep a secret and things like that. I'm telling you, this probably would have saved me when I was a kid. Okay, so let's talk about products I love for language arts. Today, we got High Five Magazine. We all know I love High Five Magazine. It's pretty cool and you can read it for free on Libby. Also story starters. These are kind of cool. The chicken was riding a bicycle. My cat loves taking selfies. So it's got some interesting story starters there. I also have a crossword book for little kids that I was doing with my son and I, I couldn't find it. I, it wasn't on the shelf where it's supposed to be. I think it's upstairs in the nightstand because on Sunday mornings he used to get in bed next to me and we would do our crossword together. Storytellers Word a Day, I believe it's about $25. I bought the used version, don't, don't. I buy the used version for pretty much everything, but don't, don't do it for this. This is, so let me show you Word a Day. I mean, it's amazing. I just love it, I love it. Hectic, adjective, very busy or manic. How is you, hold on, how your day is when you have to do everything quickly. Now, flip it over here, flip, flip, flip. And it's got hectic, so it's got word pairs, hectic schedule, hectic day, hectic lifestyle. It's got adjectives, it's got synonyms, it's got used in 2.5% of stories. It's got the etymology, comes from the Greek word hecatikos, means continuous or habitual. And then it's got tell a story, just when Bernice thought her day couldn't get any more hectic. So I quite like it, I think it's great. Okay, next up for, that is falling apart because I bought the U. All right, next up for curriculum, of course I love $12 each book. I love it for writing, it's handwriting without tears. Very simple, teaches you the orange one is the first one. It teaches you paper placement, teaches you just basic letter writing things. It's one of those things where you can do one or two pages a day for a year or so. If you go on Canva, Canva $2.99 for the entire year, $2.99 and you can download, I think it's five packages a day. And so they have things like the alphabet. They have, I mean, if you're teaching science, you can put in, just put in, for example, if you put in, uh, you know, sight words and then hit kindergarten and grade one, it'll have a bunch of worksheets on that. So this was the alphabet, but you can also do, I mean, there was science stuff I was looking at about different habitats and things like that for grade one, grade, um, kindergarten, grade one, ages like that. It does go up higher than that, but that was just the most popular searches for that one. All right, this is a cool Usborne book, Creative Writer's Handbook. It's kind of neat because it's got plot devices, it's got tentpole events, 
It's got writing stories. It's got just general information. Openers, set the scene, establish a voice, hint at trouble, surprise. So uh, normally Usborne, I don't always think they're, <laughs> when I think of Usborne, normally I think of little kid books, but this isn't. This would, I say this would be probably age eight at least, I would think. Okay, and then of course I have Fix It Grammar. Oh my gosh, it's fun. I, it's fun, it's fun. Look at that. You just open it up. The first soldier doned his cloak and he wished that he were in a castle. So you gotta fix it. What's a capital, what's an end mark? You gotta fix these things. And then you gotta mark the articles, the nouns. So it's, it just, it really teaches you a lot. I think it's pretty comprehensive. This is the first one and it's simple too. I like how they teach you the editing marks as well. Vocab, two nouns, one capital, one end mark. So it starts very slow. Did you ever hear the story of three poor soldiers and then you rewrite it? So I just think, and if your child can't handwrite well, you can do, um, you know, he can direct you and you can do it as well. So I just like it. I just like it comes with a teacher manual and a student one. And that's all I got for you today. Very short video. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye. Can you say please like and subscribe? Be right, you right. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell for notifications.